Hey, Jana here, and in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can add a score to some of your questions that are asked in an ODK form um, or a Kobo toolbox form. Um, and those scores can potentially only be visible to you or they can show up in the form um, itself. So for example, if you wanted to calculate a vulnerability score, could you do that within an XLS form, within Kobo Toolbox, within ODK? Yes, you can. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you how. So if we jump into the XLS form, so this is where I'm designing my form in Excel, um, and we have different questions. Uh, so this is an integer question. I've given it a name. And the label is how many children under the age of five do you have? So this is a required question. Um, and you might answer one or two or zero or three or four. Um, and then what we're going to do is add a type of question called calculate. And I'm going to name it CU5, so children under five dash vulnerability. And the calculation, so in the over here we have a column named calculation. We'll just put if and an open bracket, and then this dollar sign and open curly bracket CU5 just re refers back to this question. So if whatever was entered in that question is greater than two, we'll give it a vulnerability score of five, or else we'll give it a vulnerability score of zero. Okay, so it's not, not vulnerable and then a closed bracket. So it's just an if statement. So if, and then your logical statement, if this answer was greater than two, comma, then it's this and else, or else it's, it's the second option, okay? Um, and so we're just gonna keep doing that. So integer how many pregnant and lactating women, uh, and then calculate a vulnerability score for that. We'll ask how many disabled family members and calculate a vulnerability score for that. Um, here's a different one. We're making it a select one. So select one, yes or no. Um, so do you have a toilet in your home? And then our calculation then is if the toilet question, so that's this one, if the toilet question equals no, then they have a vulner vulnerability score of five again, or else it's just zero. And okay, so this is just an example. I've put in four questions there and I'm given four vulnerability scores. And then at the very end, I'm gonna calculate a total vulnerability. And I'll just put um, a dollar sign, open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and then the name of each vulnerability score. So we have a CU5 vulnerability, a PLW vulnerability, a disabled vulnerability and a toilet vulnerability. And all I'm doing is this plus this plus this plus this. Okay, adding them all together. The whole calculation is just this plus this plus this plus this, so just a sum. Okay, and then I'm going to add a note at the very end. It's called um, note vulnerability. And all, all I'm going to say is your vulnerability score is and then I'm going to call this variable name up here, total vulnerability. So it's just gonna give a number of what that all summed up to. So let's see it in action. Um, so on the screen, you see this is actually my um, ODK Collect app. So let's say I have three children under the age of five. I have one pregnant and lactating woman in my household. I don't have any disabled family members and I have a toilet in my home. And then swipe forward and it's going to say my vulnerability score is 10. Um, now that doesn't really mean much uh, right now, but if you're doing lots of questionnaires and you have big vulnerability score um, assessments and questionnaires, then actually this could mean something um, as you're collecting a lot of data or if you have to make decisions on the spot about um, whether people qualify for uh, aid or something like that, then you can actually um, use this to uh, help you out. So hopefully that is a helpful way to use the calculate question um, where you can calculate vulnerability scores. And hopefully that's helpful. And uh, if you want to subscribe to uh, my channel, definitely do that. And you can get tips on 
when we produce new content. And uh, hopefully this will be very helpful for you in the future. Okay, bye-bye.